to the final for the PTL Open 3. Welcome. I've been with you all weekend. It's Meet Fats, and I'm joined by the illustrious, the heroic, the awesome Papa Palpatine. Aaron, <laughs> thank you for hey joining folks. us. We've been looking to get you on the stream for a long time, and we're happy you're here. Awesome. Well, I was uh, judging and stuff. You were too busy running the event. So we should uh, we should be set up for a quite a fun little uh, um, finals here. Indeed. So Tim has, uh, I believe you explained the format in previous videos. Yeah, but, but we'll go through it one more time for yeah. everybody in case they're just joining us for the first time. Here at the Open, we have everybody bring three lists. And during the Swiss, you mm -hmm. are encouraged to run each of your lists at least twice. Right. We give bonus points for doing so, and we also give a ton of prizes if you do so, I believe, right? Right, mm -hmm. including what you can see on the table exactly. there. Exactly. A set of range rulers. Custom painted in the PTL colors for this By Open. Curl paw. And then when we get into the cut, we did a top eight cut that's mm -hmm. just enough for there to be three rounds. Each person has to use their list only once. Yes. So you can't use your strongest list three times. You have to plan out your lists to use them when you think they're best to be used. And if you weren't really planning on making the final, like Tim here, yep. what you have left is your fun list. Uh, well, we did see Tim on stream yesterday or uh, in, the, in, the, in the Swiss with this list. And oh, he you did? did? He okay. did squeak it out. Cool. So this is one fat Luke Skywalker with Sense, Advanced Proton Torpedoes, R2 Astromech, and Afterburners. Mm -hmm. So he's fast. Mm -hmm. He punches really hard at range one, at least once. Mm -hmm. Uh, and he has afterburners to fly around the board. Not to mention sense to tell where you're going. Mm -hmm. We got two wardens, both with barrage rockets, one carrying Sabine, of course, seismic charges and proton bombs on both, and delayed fuses. We'll see if he uses the delayed fuse. Yeah, he did use them to great effect in his game that he played on stream because it allows you to area deny with the seismics or the protons and block up lanes and stuff like that. Right. I actually really enjoyed the way delayed fuse that works as a mechanic. I thought it was really interesting. Yeah, well, especially with the seismics, if he chucks them next to a bunch of rocks. Yes. It's like the whole area is... You get a chance to choose which one you want yeah. to blow up when. I still don't understand how you can dissipate gas and hurt something, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Neither here nor there. I mean, lightsabers are kind of mysterious, too. That's true. Uh, and now uh, Christian running his, um, he's running another four-ship list, and he's got his fin he's got his first order list out there with a very, very skinny quick draw. Mm-hmm. As about a, just about as skinny as I think she gets. Um, running just fanatical and special forces gunner. We've got Blackout, who's an excellent option, an I-5, an affordable alternative to Swallow. Um, mm -hmm. Just rocking his fanatical as well, which is an awesome upgrade, is, and almost on every single f um, first order ship that can take it. Yeah, um, much in the same way as you see heroic on every ship, because it's just so good. Scorch, my one of my favorite ships in the first order, um, rocking fanatical and backdraft, rocking just fanatical. So that's a four named, four named ship list. And the cool thing that everybody seems to sleep on backdraft is, if you don't give him a gunner, he's very affordable. But you can just leave his arc pointed backwards at all times, and he's yep. actually super threatening yep. for a very effective point balance. Mm -hmm. Well, when he turns his butt to you. Yeah. Yeah, so it's really lean. There's no optics anywhere on the list here. There's no there's no other shenanigans or, or, or tricks here for the First Order list, but just as lean as he could make it all. Yeah, so this particular list is, is not what Christian feels is his strongest. Mm-hmm. Uh, of the three lists he was running, you saw his uh, defender list mm -hmm. earlier. And mm -hmm. then he had a Vader, two Tempest Squadrons, and a uh, Sense Inquisitor uh, list. Which he used to get past Evan. Which he used to get past Evan Cameron. Um, so this one is kind of his weak one, too. Um, so both so both players then were using their best list to get them to this point, and now we've got their uh, slightly less optimized but super more fun and much more prototypey lists. Yep which we love to see and we love to encourage at this kind of event to see unique and interesting builds that you wouldn't normally ever put onto a table at a competitive event anywhere yeah, else. Yeah, I mean, Christian's isn't so much unique as just slimmed down to the absolutely necessary parts. I mean, Blackout with Fanatical um, is a really interesting choice. I mean, a lot of people will build fat Blackouts with right. all sorts of stuff geared to trying to get Blackout's ability to proc. Which in my few games with him, the experience I have with him, it's better to just treat him as a good I-5 and just pretend he has flavor text as an ability. And if it procs, it's awesome. Yep. But you, you get that. Threaten it, but don't put yourself in bad situations yeah, you don't wanna, to try you don't, to get it. Exactly. You don't want to yep. barrel roll behind an asteroid just to proc an ability that you're then going to screw yourself out of next round. Yeah. And lose a token to do it because yeah. it doesn't go anywhere. Exactly. Um, so he's got Fanatical here. Christian is saying that in comparison to his other list, this is less firepower mm -hmm. overall, or it's less consistent firepower. Mm -hmm. um, and the uh, 
<coughs> pardon me, the FO guys are fragile, even though they don't appear that way. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of health there. But once trapped, they're trapped. And these bombs present a serious threat. And the barrage rockets are, are, are no small threat either. But uh, usually you can tell where a K-Wing is going to go. So we've got a fast move out of Tim. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he slams. To take the middle of the board to start dropping bombs behind him. and Or just to shift the area of engagement. Right. So he's done that. If Christian hasn't rushed him, that'll be fine. Mm -hmm. This might be a three bank. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, and then he, he can very easily get through all this. And they're talking about how they want to go home. So their children and their respective families. and Yeah. So this is an old man X-Wing. Chicken <laughs> strategies aren't going to fly. <laughs> Although, look at this. We've got one banks and stuff. Yeah. We'll draw them in. Barrel? Yeah. Yeah. The only problem with TIE SFs is it's very difficult to tell them apart from non tie SFs on stream. Right. I wish they had them given different wings or something different. Well, uh, Victor's given us little numbers here, so. I know, but still. So there's a Scorch going up the middle. Mm -hmm. Focus. Quick draw probably going to do one forward. Backdraft probably, sorry, blackout probably going to go two forward barrel roll out. Wow, Quick Draw really doesn't want to trade shots with the K-Wing at range three while it's shooting barrage rockets. That's true. That's in their benefit for sure. Yep. Lucas foils close. It's a three bank. So that X-Wing model, that painted model that Tim's using, is actually a prize that they won on the very first ever road trip the PCL ever took out to uh, Moncton, New Brunswick, I believe. Yep. The very first party bus we ever sent out. Mm -hmm. It started all the shenanigans and, and really helped kick off our lust of invading other people's places and ruining their fun. Indeed. And it's nice to see it on the table now. So 5-4 with Blackout. He's coming out. Mm-hmm. He was probably anticipating having a getting a free flank. Which does not look like it's going to happen anymore. He's just going to boost in. Mm-hmm. It's difficult to tell on the screen whether it's going to give him range. I wouldn't think so, but... Oh, if it's range three through the rock? Sheesh. Yeah, his closest point might actually be behind that front lip of the rock if he has it. Yeah. Well, it's too talented to tell on this yeah. flat screen. So Quick Draw is not turning her back to Luke. Would you would you want to try facing? Uh, you wouldn't want to face down Luke with just your Quick Draw because of how much tricks and, and upgrades that Luke's got on him, right? You kind of want to put your whole force on there. Yeah, I mean, Luke has to survive to the end here. He's the end game piece. Do you think that Christian's just going to try to dump all his fire into the K-Wings and just, just, just get them off the board as soon as possible because they're the easiest things for him to kill? Oh, if you can burn one down. So here's the shot through the rock. Yep. Yeah. Christian is explaining how black it. Yeah, Christian explaining how blackout works. Yeah, so there you go. So they take all three. So Tim is surprised. Yeah. And loses all she And that's how you use Blackout. Yes. Have your opponent forget that the abilities are there. <laughs> and don't force them because he still has he still has the two bank hard two out this way, or he still has the two bank hard two this way. Yes. So he has options. He hasn't put himself in a bad position just to get his ability to proc. Mm hmm But that's a that's a handy little opening engagement for Christian to get yeah. three shields down off of that for nothing in return. I mean, I think that happened because Tim forgot about blackout but he probably also wasn't counting on the five straight yeah absolutely so and i think that was probably just an opportunity i think you said that christian was probably going to go for a free flank saw the opportunity to boost in and get that free pot shot and took it and that's just good player awareness to know that like yeah to know that you can adapt your, your plan on the fly and be able to react to the situation as it unfolds now one of the things that was being threatened by the k-wings is some little banks here mm -hmm. and then barrage rocket anybody who came in mm -hmm. Um, but which he might still do. But now, do you think Blackout might be able to do a two ah, two bank there? Yeah, and uh, then shoot through the rock at that K wing. So that that would be bad. Oh, that about? would be a range one. Yeah, that would be spicy. So now I think number three has to bail. Number three has to get away from all this. Yeah, and, and do one of those. You think three bank, three bank slam just mm -hmm. to get in behind? Yep, that might be a good move. 
I imagine we'll see a slow move from number three, that Scorch, mm -hmm. just to stay open to that. Hey, Still, you, you never want to try to bomb Scorch in to get his ability on the first round. You kind of want to let people fall into your range one, and that's when you want to trigger them. Yeah, I mean, the the F, it's weird because the FO fighters want kind of want range three exchanges. Mm -hmm. I don't know. The barrage rockets are not great for them either. But uh, but uh, whereas the SFs want to close. Mm -hmm. And then on the exit, shoot out their back arcs, especially, of course, backdraft. So this is kind of a general flow to each of the ships, which is different. So here, Tim is doing that three bank. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, Blackout could just bank inwards. Mm -hmm. That is here. Yeah. Um, and that would be particularly... Um, oh, he's just sticking. Yeah. All right. So he's saying, come into my bomb zone, baby. I mean, I don't hate that. He's got bow tie arcs here. He's got barrage rockets there. He's got bow tie arc there. He's got barrage rockets there. Yep. He's blocking a lot of bat blackouts options. And a blackout rolls in there and gets five, four dice at range. Mediocre one. dice. He'll take a couple damage. Yeah. If he gets bad dice, he'll take more. Yes. But Christian cannot forget about Luke. That's a Luke with uh, APTs. And if Luke does the right maneuver, then boosts with mm -hmm. afterburners, locks, oof, it's a lot of pain. Yeah, so he could tag he could he could tag Scorch. Well that's actually that's black draft. He could tag backdraft on this round if he really wanted to. A three bank. Uh I don't think a three bank will do it for him, but we'll see. Oh, that's exactly what he's doing. If he has the room. No, he, he doesn't can't have the, fit room. the bank boost. No, he can't fit the bank boost. He can do a forward boost. That might still be range one. He's just going to fly right in there. Oh, I think that is range one. Yeah. He's got his red proton torpedoes. Yep, just he does. you called it. Yep. Well, I called all the maneuvers wrong, but this is the overall well, strategy you, you, was you correct. You still <laughs> called the same end result. <laughs> same, so. same result. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I'm tired. He's just going to nope out. Barrel roll, maybe. Focus link barrel roll. Or just sit. Just focus and sit. So we see Christian not forgetting about the bombs there. He's going to eat a barrage rocket shot. Yeah. But he's going to put some guns on Luke. Yeah. And I mean, I don't think, yeah, the barrage rocket shot might hurt. He this might is a, a shield three down. bank for quick draw. This is uh, going to be a brutal round for Luke. It is. Oh, it is a three bank. I mean, uh, number four, that's backdraft. Yeah. Is probably going to take four or five damage. Yeah. But, uh, Luke's going to probably, well, he's going to go at least a half. However, because, yeah, Luke will be also be able to regen a ton of force on here, too, so he can spend a lot of his force. Oh, yeah. You, he's just going to spend it. Well, actually, he might want to keep it for his advanced proton torpedo. Two. Let's see, Luke takes one. takes one. Here comes the torp. Yeah. What's it going to do? Tim says it would be um, very useful if you yeah. just blanked out. It's possible. What does he get there? Ruling that cocked on the board. Okay. Spinning the lock. Three and a Electing to hold on to all of his. So force. if backdraft is lucky here. Couldn't see what that was. No, he spends the focus and backdraft loses his shield. So that was pretty good for backdraft. Yeah. Activates his fanatical mm -hmm. for his range one return shot. Yes. Blackout will be firing at range three. Oh, do they skip blackout? Uh, oh, they're sp skipping blackout. Yeah, they should do blackout. Yeah. But that's on them. Oh, they there we go. It. Christian caught it. Um, this is range. It's range two. Yikers. Does he spend the focus? Hmm. Yeah, he's going to leave it at the one. Yep. Ooh. Luke so double would, blanks. Ouch. I was about to say, it's very unlikely to do one damage on Luke with only one result unless he rolls like that. Yep. So backdraft range one into Luke. Got his fanatical active. 
So a hit crit? Only a hit crit. Luke double blanks again. Oh. Okay. And that's a pilot crit. We're going to apologize yeah, to all of our... Stun pilot. We are going to apologize to all of our wonderful francophone viewers if they do. Yes. Um, that's that... That's, that's that awesome... So those are that's that, the, the Millennium Condor alternate damage yeah. deck. That's awesome, though. I like that deck. is really cool. Scorch is scorching it up. Yep. He's going to take a stress to roll an additional die at the K-Wing, it looks like. Three Spends hits. the focus for three. Wow, he's... Nice. This K-Wing. So that is this a... This K-Wing knows how to evade. Yeah. This just loses one. And Christian's saying he obviously should have shot at the shieldless one, but... He's is. drunk and tired. Exactly. That's what happens when you drink blue milk while you're playing X-Wing. Here comes a shot from number three. Yeah. Sh On Scorch. So unobstructed range three. On to Scorch. Scorch takes. Yep, one evade. So did Scorch take one there. I missed yeah. it. Yeah. No, okay. he got he got one evade result. So no bullseye for the barrage. He does have bullseye on blackout. Mm -hmm. Blackout's got enough focus though. I don't know if you'd want to burn charges. I mean, I think. Okay. He's gonna shoot. Yeah, he's gonna shoot scorch. I yeah. was gonna say that's the right call. Yeah. Focus for two. Yeah. So all this may do is activate Scorch's fanatical. Yep. Oh, two evades, nothing. Okay. So not the best round for Mr. Skywalker. Nope. Um, so I feel like obviously we see the three bank here because Backout has his Backdraft has his Backdraft ability. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Uh, Outside of that, <laughs> I have no other options for you. I feel like Scorch is going to bomb down in here mm -hmm. because he loves that range one engagement if it happens for him. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, the two forward of the two bank are the only things that really make sense to me here out of... Out of out so of if I were out. Tim, yep. I'd be taking... Sorry, I'm going to delete that first and then go ahead. I'd be taking this warden up here. Yeah. So Three that, forward, two that, forward. This whatever straight Scorch wants to do isn't yep. going to work. He's yep. going to get blocked. I'd drop a bomb here. Okay. Set it on a timer. Yeah. Um, Which one you drop a proton bomb? Seismic. If okay. it's within, if he thinks it's going to be within range of both of those rocks, then just set that up. Um, I don't know what to do with warden number three. Warden number three is because he kind of wants to slam, but then he can't do anything. Yeah, I think he has to slam to get back in the fight. So the question is, does he hard two, hard two, or yeah. oh, you think that way? Do that or, or the other way? Or the other way? Yeah. You don't think just a simple hard two and then he's got his arc hiss this way is enough to get back in two turns later? Or No, I think that just gives Scorch an opportunity if Scorch does the two turn, the blue two turn to shoot him in the side. Ah, okay. Another thing Tim might try here is he might do uh, two straight mm -hmm. and then do a slam, which is not going to complete, but might give him a slightly different angle to, to, to block. Oh, I see. Or he could do a one straight and let Scorch come into his face. I don't know. No, that's not good. Yeah, that's a that's a trade I think uh, Christian would love to have. Here fit, yeah. maybe. And then he's got bombs for the yeah. next round. That's a good bomb setup next round. It's not bad. The trouble is Christian made out like a bandit there and can yeah, now he, just disengage. Yeah, he did so much damage to Luke. Oh, that guy's dropping the fuse. Yeah, he's seismic. dropping a that seismic makes more with sense. the fuse. Yep. Now, of course, once you place the bomb, after you place the bomb, yep. this is when you decide whether or not you want to use the fuse. Right. Okay, that's good to Tim know. Tim was just it. certain in this situation. Right. But that's good to know for anybody watching. If you're playing that, you do get a chance to kind of see yep. before you decide if you want to plant or not. I like fuses. I think they're really funky, interesting mechanic added to the game. It's a yep. nice layer of, of, uh, of thought process, of, yep. of opportunity. I mean, often you'll find yourself in such a dogfight that you, that you never know. Mm-hmm. So Luke is sensing blackout. Mm -hmm. And now that stays face up, right? In this version that's revealed? I, I think so. But, uh, you know, it suffices if you tell your opponent and they remember, and then they ask again and you tell them what it was. Right. So we've got a one bank here. I don't hate that option. I'm not in love with it. No? 
You don't like where the K-Wing went? Well, it's no so actions for that fella next round. It's true. But it's also a great place to drop another bomb. I mean, it's the area he's already got mined. Yeah, but he could drop a proton bomb. Sure. If Scorch is facing that direction. I've Scorch come to believe that, that Scorch should just be doing a two-turn. Two-turn ship right. Yeah, yep. that would be that so would be spicy if he did. So he's doing the oh, three bank so he through three bank. Luke. We'll see if he hits the rock. Yeah, we'll find oh, out. We, I think he skips it. Nicely done. That was the nicer call. As you said, that was the better place for him to be. Yeah, I can evade or target lock because he's got the mod on eyeballs from Fanatical. I would probably lock. Hmm. You think that barrage is going to shoot at him? Oh, yeah. That, that, the Does it have arc? It's a seismic. 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 Yeah. I mean, actually, we may not have heard that. We might just be assuming that. I think he said seismic. I think... The token actually looks like a seismic. Right. It is a seismic token. We finally got the right tokens this time. So he's taking an evade. It's okay. going defensive. Yeah. I mean, the longer your ships are around, the better it is. He's got offensive mod from Fanatical anyways. Sorry? He's got Fanatical, he's got Fanatical around for... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the question was between that and a target lock. Yeah. So Scorch is barrel rolling, and he's perfectly happy there because K-Wing 3 is slammed and is not shooting. K-Wing 2 has got its turret rotated to the side, so it can't shoot the barrage rockets at range 1. Oh, really? Barrage rockets are 2 to 3 only? Unless yeah. you have a turret pointed in the front direction. Yeah, I believe I so. I did not know that. Yeah, so... No, but he's going to barrel roll so that yeah. Blackout can do Blackout's yeah. thing. Blackout's going too forward, I think. Yeah. So he's just given Tim a barrage rocket shot on Scorch. But honestly, Scorch is kind of disposable in yeah, this list. Yeah, absolutely. Scorch is almost, at 36, he's kind of always disposable. If you can get one range, <coughs> one shot off with him before he dies, you're happy. Oh, mm -hmm. Luke's just going one forward. That was a good call. Tim says Luke is doing this because he wants to go home. Yeah. <laughs> so he knows Blackout's in the two bank, in yeah. a sense. Okay. So he's going to try to PS kill Scorch. Or initiative Good. kill as it is. Unless, of course, Quick Draw does one forward and initiative kills Luke first. We'll see if this fits. Oh, yeah. Rescue Me by uh, Aretha Franklin is playing in the background. Yeah. We're trying to make sure that the players can't hear our commenting because now we're down to just the two players in a small little group of... Uh, what are they called? I can't, I can't think of words. I can't think of words. People who watch <laughs> the spectators, that's yeah, what they're called. Christian realizing that he can't be shot. So that, uh, so Blackout target locks the Sabine Mobile. Mm -hmm. And then Quick Draw. Oh, Quick Draw sloops. sloops. Damn, what a call. Unless, damn. That was spicy. But there's no pattern analyzer on this no. one. Well, no, pa exactly. No pattern. Yeah. I'm too used to flying her with pattern. It's hard to fly her without it. So it's an unmodded four die shot on Luke. Okay, so we got Luke regens his force. And Did he just roll he four? Rolled, yeah. yeah. And okay. Luke explodes. Christian continuing to refuse to roll blanks on his dice. He's got that hot, hot me fire. meat mallet shaking technique that just <laughs> the clack a lack maraca shaking it technique. really is I, I like it actually I love it you can I can always tell when Christian's playing because I can always well, hear when he's juggling dice I do something dice. similar like I, I'm I can't just do it I'm I can't shake dice that hard it's too hard I'm just superstitious me. and I think I, I've got to <laughs> randomize these I've got to make yeah. these random I've, I've seen people shake them limply and it's like that's not been randomized sufficiently yeah but I have, my hands are too small I have to use two hands to get a good shake on them <laughs> sorry <laughs> I have smaller hands so I have to use right. two hands to shake my dice effectively all right is that three again? Yeah. Jeez, Louise. Yeah. Okay. So that was back foot backdraft's rear. Backdraft butt. into Sabine Beal, who's he's now getting barrage rockets for two. Mm -hmm. Just trying to keep all the accounting of all the cards up. So, so Blackout takes one after spending his evade. Well, folks, 
this game has certainly swung hard in Christian's favor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was a bit of a list matchup to begin with, as they were saying earlier on. But Christian is saying that he'll accept Tim's surrender. Down yeah, but not out, though. Stranger things have happened on stream. We've Str seen some stuff that we thought games were over, and they clawed right the heck back. Yeah. How does Tim come back? Yeah. He cannot have a barrage rocket with number two this round because nope. he's got to go through that cloud, and he does have to go through the cloud mm -hmm. because he's got a seismic charge behind him. Oh, the seismic charge can be can light up yeah. this particular one. So. I think he'll have to, otherwise he's going to risk bombing that one who's already on hull. Right. Which is a less than ideal. They're both on hull. Yes. Yes. So number three, K-Wing 3, does a straight, one straight. And just focuses. Just focuses, tries to get quick draw shields. That seems like the best setup. So and maybe you can slam if you go through debris, right? Because it's an action. Right. So K-Wing 2, I don't think a three straight will clear um, blackout. So he's got to do something else. Hard to? I guess, but that's terrible. Yeah. It's not good. Hard, oh. to, hard to right? He uh, does a three bank left and just slams into that ship and blocks quick draw from doing a three straight and getting to range one of the other K-Wing. Mm. Problem with that is if quick draw does a one straight, mm -hmm. then it just one, yeah. blows that K-Wing up. So we're back to the two turn this way. Yeah. Which is just not good. And the two turn this way is equally not good because then it blocks this K-Wing. And if it doesn't, then Quick Draw just goes, okay, I roll up range one of yeah. Warden two and blow them to bits. Yeah. It's definitely less than ideal. He's dropping another seismic with another fuse. Interesting. I mean, Blackout might curl, try to curl behind him, but I don't think that's a, you know, time priority for him. Right. One bank. Oh, he might fit, yep. So he'll have shots. Mm-hmm. And he'll be able to get... He will be able to get a... It's one of those, what's your least bad decision yeah. rounds. At least he gets a shot with it. Yep. And he can use this to blow up this one. This fuse will take out this one next round. Yes. And he keeps he keeps his back secure and away from any of, Tim, uh, any of Christian's ships from getting him in behind his yep. K-Wings. So... Backdraft does backdraft things. Yeah, he'll plink at range three. Mm -hmm. Evade probably. Yep. Yeah, just for safety. Oh, Scorch is going to sloop, so will not be able to use his ability. So that now probably means we're going to see. I mean, if Tim is incredibly lucky, Christian screwed up and did a three straight. I don't think that's very likely, however. He did the three. Hard. Yeah. Well, he's outside of range. Oh, Talend. Talend. Oh, and he's going to get the obstructed shot now. Such aggro. Mm. That's nice. Hey, the cloud is going to do nothing for the K-Wing because blackout. Yeah. Because he subtracts it. So yeah, so K-Wing yeah. goes up to two green dice, yeah. subtracts them. You can't mod yeah. a, a green die. Okay. Yeah. Quick draw does not what we expected. I mean, there's some sad trombone music playing, which is kind of the feel for that K-Wing right there. Yeah. This is some sad trombone repositioning. But we got bullseye. We got bullseye. True. Okay, so that guy's gone. Okay, so that rock's gone. So, quick try to shoot in Sabine. Range one. Range one. Oh, there's some blanks. Yeah. So, okay. Sabine down is down to half health. Yep. Four hull. <laughs> no dice. Nope. Oh, it's right. He had oh, a there lock was a lock. Before. He had a lock last round. Doesn't help him. Two more. Okay. The K Wing's on two hull. Tim's back to flying ghosts. He's rolling no evades. Range into the factory, yeah. into the Sabine mobile. Yeah, and if this crit. Hey, crit. Yep. Crit is 
So that and it's it. a direct. Yep. Coup de boo. Might as well have been a coup de gras. <laughs> that is a splattered K-Wing. Well, now that remaining K-Wing... <laughs> just... <laughs> Christian apologizing for still having another shot. It's a weenie one, though. One hit. Let's see. K-Wing dodges. Finally evades something. Tim finally evades a hit at one point <laughs> in this game. <laughs> he doesn't need Sabine. He doesn't need anything. He's got barrage rockets. He's shooting the barrage rockets yep. into quick drop. Yep. No reason not to. Nice. Three. Will quick draw lose her shields? Just two. And <laughs> a return <laughs> shot. <laughs> Well, somebody's going home soon. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. I mean, he had to take that shot. He had Range to do. Two. He has, he's trying to get back into the game. He's got to. I mean, he could have launched it at Scorched. I don't know if, like, overall that's better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we got a four hull warden versus an entire FO mini swarm. Yeah. Backdraft is down to two hull. Quick draw's got one shield. Yeah. So this is looking bad. Oh, super bad. Like, super, super, super bad. There's some uh, inter-squad inter chatter going on. There's a lot of trash ones. talking yeah. up there. A lot, of, a lot of fun conversations about our respective members' relative salty lo saltiness levels. Yeah, it's important to understand the relative salty level, salt level of your, of your crew. Pretty high on ours. Yeah. It's pretty high. The charge in and throw the APTs was probably ill-considered. The strategy was ill-considered. Because he went into a, a wall of four ships. Yep. Yeah. But you've got to expect with, with that kind of uh, FO squad. Yeah, it might have been nicer for Luke to have gone this way after burning around and then done it again next turn. Get in behind yep. them? I don't know. Or done a feint or something. Yeah. Yeah, because it's tough. It's just also, if you blank out, all that regenerating of force doesn't do anything for it if you blank yep. out. So we've got this rock blowing up. Yep. That might get a damage. Yeah. On uh, on that. Uh, that kind of means that Blackout's kind of got to go that way, unless he just doesn't care about eating the damage. It just goes too forward and doesn't care about it. Proton bomb. Mm -hmm. With a fuse. So there's a three bank there. <laughs> so there's some there's some trash going on. So Tim was trying to comment about how he feels that this is why our format's challenging, and it is mm -hmm. because you 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 got to balance against trying to make it to the final versus <laughs> using your best ship, your best list in the finals. So they're having an argument. It's probably going to lead to a riot. I don't know <laughs> what's going on here, but uh, that's a good move by that K wing. Yes. Um, Christian is saying the amount of salt he's got during the course of the day is is, is accumulating on his shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, this happens when we're in an in, in inner squad battle. We, these are the guys that we, we drink with, that we have a good time with, and they're having a good time. So. Yeah. Well, look at this. He got the block. It was a great block. He's still trying to make the most of it. He's not going down. He's not, like, laying over. Yeah. They're talking about Glory Days past. Yes. And we've got a sloop here. Yeah, which makes a lot of sense. Get him back around, point in the right direction. Sure. Well, we'll see if Christian decides to mercifully kill Tim off or he plays with him for a while. Too straight. He yeah. Too straight I don't into think he the cloud. He's, got, he's got shields. He'd rather have a obstructed shot if he gets it. He's going to use a damage from the uh, exploding rock. He can't do anything about it yet. No. But he doesn't care at this no. point. Quick draw, do another sloop. Blackout's How hurt. sloppy is he getting? I don't know. He's doing... Yeah. So there's going to be no shot for the K-Wing here. No. And then Quick draw could probably rotate, barrel rotate? I mean, I think it's more important that Quick draw does not put herself in a bombable spot. Right. But she's true. target locking. Target lock makes the most sense. So Tim managed to evade all shots. He arc dodged. Yeah. 
So the proton bomb's fuse is gone. Yep. He might even take quick draw, which would be... Nah. No. So he tags Blackout. <laughs> drops one. Blackout gonna drop, takes a damage. He's going to drop his next proton bomb on yes. the next round. And that's going to be problematic. Nah. Christian will be like, yeah, I ain't there. Uh, does a number three have another seismic charge? I don't believe so. He used one already. I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, he might actually. I think I think he does. So you think you drop a seismic on that cloud? Yep. Just makes the whole area unpleasant. Yeah, that's true. That's a good call. And then do you three bank out? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, what else yeah, can three you bank out. Pray. What else can you do? Maybe maybe Tim can find a way to just keep arc dodging with his K-Wing and reloading proton bombs and plinking away one shield at a time. Until he gets through the shield. He's got an hour and 15 minutes. So he's got a whole game of X-Wing still he could play. And that would be a very long match for all of us. Yep. I don't suspect that's what's going to happen. No. But you never know. We never say never. We should never tell one the odds. Right. Okay, yeah, he's dropping his last proton. Is it Tim drops a pumpkin spice proton bomb. A pumpkin spice latte. And uh, I think it's safe to say that when, uh, when oh no, wait a minute. He means the seismic. He means the seismic? Yeah. Slamming. Yeah, it's a seismic, which yeah. you thought made the most sense. So he's used his yeah. last seismic. That's the only downfall to alternate art cards. You sometimes yes. don't know what they are when you look at them. You don't know what you're doing when you're drinking. Yeah, that too. <laughs> but that, you know, that's that's an advantage in life. Yeah. And so this is a good seismic Scorch is going to fly into the... Yep, yeah, he's going to two-sloop on that. Yep. That's good. He'll turn on Scorch's seismic. Sorry, he'll turn on Scorch's fanatical. Right. Um, Backdraft is definitely going to get hit by... Oh, no, not next necessarily. Yeah, the hard Blackout. three... Blackout's just going to do a three-turn boost, shoot some more. Yeah. Uh, um, man, that's some unorthodox marking. Yeah, that was weird. Oh, these drinking fools. Also, he's moving Backdraft. Blackout before he moves Backdraft. Yeah. Too many similar names in FO. Yeah. Backdraft, Blackout. See if they get quick draw right. Death fire, death rain. See there you go. Yeah, that's that was the weirdest marking I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> you goofballs. So uh, yeah, we're gonna see if we can help them figure out what they did. This is a. As we'd established, this is the most premier casual tournament out there. It's almost funny to see if they even remember that he has backdrash. All right, so target lock's going everywhere. And here we have the two turn, um, which is not unexpected. Nope. I think Quick Draw just hangs out. Yeah. And he avoids that proton bomb, so they pulled it off. Tim is encouraging Christian to barrel roll mm -hmm. and try to get the shot. Yeah, definitely can't barrel roll into a shot. We're talking about rules, things now. So Scorch takes, only Scorch tags. That she just helps him because it turns on his fanatical. Yeah. Maybe we should just turn off the table, Mike. It's a bit like a, a sort of Lovecraft story, like listening well, we into the mind of madness. Look, it's not being recorded, luckily. Yeah, I know. I just, yeah. I'm just saying, personally, for my, my own sanity. Oh, two more damage. This comes off just as I lose to go home. I love it. Hit the road, Jack. Oh, backdraft only gets one. Might as well spend no a lock. lock. Yeah. Fanatical for Fanatical. hit. Fanatical. For two hits. That's it. <laughs> so and that's the end of the ceremoniously, game. Ceremoniously. Well. Thankfully. Well, it was an unorthodox <laughs> final. To say the that least. That was a, yeah. 
We thank you for sticking it out with us, though. And thank you for watching this video. Um, go back and watch the earlier games. <laughs> <laughs> they were all great. Yes. And um, we will hope to see you in the next time we upload some videos and we have some quick yes.